Hey, it's what's her name. And I'm about to bubble some items. Okay, so I can show the first bubbling technique that you can use. So if you're pretty new to this, what I would recommend is perhaps using these little low value items that I would normally delete. And what we'll do is bubble and it's you can bubble anything you've got three of, so you bubble one of those three, which is, is really good to use in events when you um, when you haven't got those items that you can easily bubble, and you don't have a two by two item to bubble anything else either. So this is the first bubbling technique I learnt, and this is how to bubble an item. When you have more than what more than three more than two even i'll get my words out in a minute okay so hover above it make sure it's actually over the top press on your world map button it will take you back to the world map okay when we come back continue there it's a, you have to be a little bit ambidextrous to do this but it's worth figuring it out because it can help a lot, especially in events, if you want to bubble items and get them off your map. So, we're heading back, and as you can see, that item is now bubbled, and I can move that and do whatever I want with it. So, at the moment, my map is now full. I actually need to bubble these coin storages here. But uh, there's a few other items as well I need to bubble. So, oh, I want you to come forward. So I need to bubble you as well. Okay, so what I do is I get all the items that I actually want to bubble lined up. So it's easier for me to bubble. And what I use are these Cosmic Bean of the Cherry Bums. And what these come from are you get your Arcane Beans, then your so you get your magic bean, your arcane bean, and then your cosmic bean. Bean, even, not bean. Bean. So, I use those because they are a 2 by 2 item. But what I need to do now is I need to make some space to get the other one to come down. Okay, so I'm just going to merge some items. And I'm going to delete some items that I actually don't need. And I'm going to do a free merge there just to tidy some things up okay so let's make some room let's see if i can get this yay it's back so what you have to do is you have to make sure that your map is full now the only only things you should have left will be two squares you have to have two squares left on your map and that's all you should have if your map is full how i find out if my map is full is i use some of the free bushes so as you can see it says above there not enough space so that's telling me that my map should be full but i also need for my creatures to be able to drop items down so i'm going to go and harvest some wood go and harvest this wood and we can do two at a time on each of those well i didn't do that one but there you go You can harvest anything as long and get them to place it down. It doesn't really matter. You could always work, get them to harvest something you're working on. So I'm getting them to harvest wood so I can buy more chests to work on, of course, my ancient trees. Because that's the next one do I want to get, the ancient trees wonder. I don't have that one. So I'm going to try and work on that wonder. So, hopefully, all of the items are, all of my elves, all of my creatures now have something in their hands. Okay, so let's, let's see. And because I don't want to actually merge my cosmic beams, okay, see if I'm fast enough. No, no. Yes, fast enough. Okay, right, now they're all here. 
don't know why that did that a little bit of a glitch but as you can see rather than losing the beans I have it actually just bubbled them so I've still got them and haven't got to make some more so let's try this again because my outline is still yellow and I haven't let it go yet okay have I got everybody's dropped I think have I just got two squares left I'm thinking I might just have two squares left there so let's try this okay so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to bubble the the one of the coin yards and one of the egg fragments there we go okay so I've now got an egg fragment that I can now move back up here I will say that Graham gained doesn't recommend you keeping items bubbled because you can lose them it also slows your game down okay. but I'm hoping not to have the coin storage bubble for too long and if you have bubbles with the outlines here like this orange one they take up more um, memory and more usage of your game so they're going to slow your game down even more keeping them bubbled but hopefully I can get rid of those soon and merge them up and get some more items that way. Okay, so let's have a look now what do I want to bubble. And the reason why I want to bubble my coin storage is because I have this tap any coin storage for coins quest. So I've made sure that I've spent all of my coins. I've only got 93 left. And you can check your coin storage out by clicking on it. And at the moment I've got 15,740 room. So I don't want to fill that up because what will happen when I bubble all of the coin storage is it will all go. And if there's no room on the map, I think it will disappear. So you don't want to lose all of your coins that you've been working on. Okay, so let's go and harvest some more. Let's go get some more things. So on that, double click on that, let's find some other items to harvest from, let's just get everybody to get something, right what else I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move these around here, so when I do do uh, the merge, instead of it, instead of the creatures going over there by where the items are in a bubble, I'll come over here to drop them so I'll actually see what I'm doing okay so let's go and try this merging now as you can see I'm not actually on top of the items I'm actually to the side so I'm now going to go over here and can you see I've got the item to the very right of it and they are actually the ones that are right next to it so it's actually covering those and when I let go those two items will then bubble oh for the game doesn't want to move today too many things in the way that's better okay so I bubbled this witch item here. Okay, so and I've also bubbled oh where are you going? Move that there, that's it. I bubbled that coin storage there. I'm gonna move that down there for now. And try not to lose it. Okay, so we have creatures ready and waiting to drop items so I'm going to move that over here and I'm going to do that again okay, so if I've got two items dropped down I can move back over here push up against those two items those two coin storages let go and there they are bubbled yeah. What this also does, it helps the value of the coin storage that you're going to buy. So rather than being 
thousand they actually go back to what they should be so if we take a quick look at the coin storage so at the moment my coin storage is 1996 and that's for the um for the improved coin storage and it's 572 for my basic oh no not the woodshed not the woodshed where are you coin storage there's another one isn't there some Oh, there we go. 494 for the basic coin storage there. So, okay, so we'll move this over here. Move this over here. I also want to bubble those two spoons there. Have I got any more coin storage that I'm missing? Okay. Right. Okay, let's do it again. Let's move that over there. Let's move that beam down there and get them all to drop something. Once they've dropped something, let's move it over here and let go. There we go. So Look what's my coin storage now. 5,200. Okay, so obviously, here we go. We've got a lovely coin storage item there to bubble. That's 2,500. So, I'm hoping that by bubbling that, that should then do it and we should then bring that price down. Okay, just having a quick look to make sure if I've got any others and to be honest I do need to work on my coin storage because it's not very high level so this is another good way to work on that coin storage and boost it up so you've got enough there to actually once the eggs start getting expensive to buy a decent amount of eggs so I'm just going to move this around here Okay, do I still have creatures with items? I do, I have three. Whoops. It's another way to bubble something. Grab a creature while they're holding it and your map's full. There we go, that's an easy way to bubble something. So, let's move that over there and get those two to drop those two items. Thank you very much. Right, and now, as you can see, because I'm not very organised, what I've done is I've now got only one item to bubble when I, I could have done three two sorry two three so i could have done two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bubble those two okay i'm going to move the coin storage out the way for now and i'll bubble that but it doesn't matter let's check what our coin storage size now 200 which should be right and that then brings down our coin storage there, our basic coin storage is back to 5 and our improved coin storage is up to 40. So, you can see what a massive difference that's made by just bubbling those items. But as I'm bubbling, I'm going to bubble some more, so let's get these out of the way. Let's get them to harvest some more things. So their hands are pretty much full. And they will just wait for you to make room on the map. So are we ready to go? So I've got those three lined up. Do with another one if I was honest. So what I'm do for anything else we can need to bubble get them off the map oh yeah let's get that off the map and that don't need those at the moment but they're very handy to have in case a trade comes along hmm what else what else what else Right, we'll do those for now. So let's just get these out of the way. So I'm going to have you again and I'm going to move away. 
and as you can see there's one and there's the other one, one then, there's two, so those are the two items I need to drop in. So now I'll make our way back over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bubble this other egg fragment and I'm going to bubble this pond, there we go. So we'll move that out of the way, take that egg fragment over here. Move that up there. Okay, so oh, so far I've managed to reduce my storage, storing storage, coin storage, and also cleared the map of some of the items that I don't use or don't need at the moment. So we've got two more items left to bubble here. So let's move this over here go here and let's move over here once they start moving they'll come over and they'll just drop the items will they have that let's check because if they haven't then one item will just move they did awesome so we've now got another item there and some more here just move those out the way for now and we've got this one left to bubble what else have we got? Is there anything else of interest to get off the map? I tell you what, we'll get rid of some of these stars. Might come in handy later on. Okay. Okay, let's move back over here. Move those there. Put those there. Hover over the bulb. Move away. So your beans don't bubble. You might find that you might accidentally bubble things you don't want to bubble, but that's what happens. It's just part of bubbling and getting used to how to bubble. So, we've now got rid of those. Okay, so, I think that is pretty cool. And I always miss something. There's always something I should have bubbled and I forget to bubble. Okay. Have another quick scout around and see if there's anything else. Not that I can see at the moment. I think I've got rid of all the things I wanted to get rid of. To give myself some more room to move and do things. So, move those around a bit. I could get rid of those, but I, I think I'll leave that for another day. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the other technique on how to bubble. And this is how to bubble bigger items. So as you can see, I have three of these very large cosmic bean, beans of the cherry bomb on my map. But I don't want them on my map anymore. And as there doesn't seem, there isn't any room for them to go, I'm going to move an item on top. And that will bubble. I'm going to say I'm over here. And that will bubble. And so will that one. Because there's nowhere for them to go. They will then bubble themselves so any items that you've got say that's a two by one that's a two by two you can bubble them that way you don't have to use a marker's fee technique you don't have to use the um putting them over the top of each other technique you can just literally go over to them and bubble them and the same can happen with any of these wonders they're quite easy to bubble you can you just get them into a corner make sure there's no room them to actually go so you haven't got a big 4x4 space for them to go and they should just bubble for you so that's how I bubble in Merge Magic I hope it helps I hope you can find your technique on how to bubble or how to arrange your garden so it best suits you I've learned most if not yes I would say most of the tips and tricks that I've found from Toasty Gamer Boutique. So if you want to go and check out her channel, there's also Asterith Gaming who does some awesome live streams for the events. You can check out Excel who also does some awesome um, videos for the events and also it's pretty good on time. So if you want to watch somebody do a uh, time one, go check out Excel. And Sakura as well, also do a time run of the events, give you some ideas on how to crack those events. 
I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. hope it's been clear and you can understand. If not, give me a shout out down the bottom in the comments. And I'll have a look and get back to you. If Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel, What's an I Merges. And I'll be merging it up, no doubt, soon in another game. Whether it be Merge Magic, Merge Dragons, Dragons and Elves, or any of the other games. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.